okay okay is it even recording okay great hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here i am rejoice um, and welcome to my channel if you are a returning viewer a returning subscriber or you were here once before and you are here again hi how have you been how have you been um i hope you've been well i hope you've been taking care of yourself i hope you've been drawing closer to god i hope i hope i hope 2024 has been treating you well yeah um yeah on my end uh in case you're wondering i've been doing good i've been doing so 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 good god is good as for about where i've been and what what the what 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 what's that saying the past the old the old is all has passed away or oh, i i don't know what it says but let's not let's not talk about that let's not talk about that what matters is that i'm here what matters is that i'm okay um yeah that's about it um just a few disclaimers i guess um there will be background noise here and there there'll be maybe a car or a, i don't know i don't know i may get disrupted um so i apologize for that in advance um I don't know if I'm leaving out anything before we start. So today I just want to share, I just want to share something. I just want to share something. We'll read from the Bible, we'll just read a verse, and we're just gonna speak about that and then we're done. Um so yeah, let's let's get straight into that. Okay, so before we get into the word, I say this every 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 video. I feel like I sound like a broken record, but I'm gonna say it again because it's true, right? Um before we get into the word, I might do suggest that you pause say a quick little prayer asking um the holy spirit to help you to understand what we're going to be speaking about um yeah so you can do that you can pause and just say a quick little prayer okay i'm assuming you're done so i don't know about you but i've heard like um the statement or rather the saying of god being living water like a lot of times a thousand gazillion times but i don't know if i always understood that so we're just going to speak about that today we're going to read from john chapter 7 verse 37 it says if anyone thirsts let him come to me and drink right so this is jesus speaking while he was still on earth and then the second part says he who believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers of living water there's different parts to the verse. Um, the first part says, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. And like I mentioned, um, it's Jesus who's speaking, right? So firstly, this is an analogy. Ne? It's not literal. It doesn't mean that if you are thirsty, you don't drink water from the tap. You must only drink water from Jesus. No, this is an analogy that will help us understand um certain truths um about christianity right so the verse is saying if anyone thirsts let him come to me me being jesus and come and drink right in this case um thirsting can look different but overall it's basically having a void right so if you are searching for something as humans we are always searching we are searching for something to fill a void we are searching for healing searching for restoration whatever it is that you are searching for um the bible is saying whatever you're searching for go to jesus and drink from jesus right i hope you're moving with me like i said um the literal meaning of this is yeah you basically longing for something longing for satisfaction longing to be whole um there are different sources of water right there is substances it could be a person it could be hey the list is so long and one of the options is jesus so what the bible is saying here is that those who are thirsty those who are longing for satisfaction who have a void um come to jesus and drink from jesus then um i want us to go to john chapter 4 verse 14 so basically what's happening here is that god is using the same analogy that we just read in john um seven with a lady so 
I suggest you read the entire chapter 4 to know what happens in the story. But just the summary of the story, there is a lady who's at the well. She is literally like drawing water and whatnot. And then she meets Jesus. And then Jesus um, uses the analogy we just spoke about, like I said. And this is what Jesus says to her. Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. So with that, he was referring to like the water that she was drawing. So like the normal water. Um, and then he further says, but whoever drinks from the water that I shall give him will never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. So Jesus tells this lady that the water that you are drawing, when people drink from that water, they will thirst again. But if a person drinks water that I give them, they will never thirst again. Um, not only will they never thirst again, but the water that Jesus gives them will become a fountain of water and basically flow through them, right? From this verse, we pick up a point about the water from Jesus. So the first thing is that if you're thirsty, Go to Jesus. Don't go to other things. Go to Jesus and drink, right? And the second point that we find in the verse that I just read is that the water that comes from Jesus, when you drink it, you will never thirst again. But with the other waters, all other solutions that you try use to quench whatever thirst that you may have um according to the bible you will thirst again meaning that that won't fulfill you that won't heal you completely if you're looking for heal healing uh, maybe it may numb for maybe a short while but then you will find yourself thirsty again so that's what this verse is saying that the water that comes from jesus when you drink when you drink of that water, you will never be thirsty again. And then the third thing that we see in both this chapter, chapter 4 and chapter 7, is that not only will you never thirst again, but the water will flow through you. Okay, so I'm just going to reverse a bit. Before we get to the third point, I just want to go to the first point actually, which is that when you're thirsty, go to Jesus and drink the water that is with Jesus. So I just want to speak about that a bit more and basically explain what that means. So if you're wondering and um, you're realizing that, okay, I have a situation where I'm thirsty according to the analogy and I want to go to Jesus and drink. Um, I'm sure maybe you're wondering, okay, like what does that look like? Is there special water that I'm supposed to drink or what? Um, answer to that is no, there's no special water. What the Bible means when it says go to Jesus and drink the water, um, drinking the water is basically believing in Jesus. And we see that in verse seven, um, where it says, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now, I hope you move with me. So this verse says that he who believes out of him will flow rivers of living water, right? And then in verse 4, when Jesus was having the conversation with the lady, he said, those who drink from the water, they will never thirst again. And out of them, what, what is it? The water will be like a fountain, or something along those lines so if you look at both of those verses you can conclude that drinking the water is basically believing with regards to believing um what that looks like is simply accepting him as your lord and savior and what that i, I know that sounds so complicated it's like i must accept him as my lord and what what is that the bible shows us like what that looks like you see this thing called bible this thing called bible has the answers to everything it has the answers to everything so now as i'm speaking like yeah as i'm saying um with regards to believing and accepting him as your lord and savior what that looks like um is just believing in your heart that um jesus is lord and confessing that with your mouth so practically what that looks like is believing but i'm saying a prayer as well so as you say that prayer you're confessing what you believe and through that you believe in jesus and as you believe in jesus it's you drinking the water that comes from jesus and not all the other sources so 
at the end of the video um there will be an opportunity for you to um, make that decision um to believe in jesus um so far we've covered two points i mentioned the third one um i just want to go through all the points number one was that if you're thirsty come to jesus and drink right number two and now we just established that drinking is basically believing in jesus um and then the second thing was that the water that comes from jesus when you drink that water you will never thirst again and like it, all the other things that fix your problems temporarily and then you find yourself in that position again with jesus it's not like that it is not like that um and then the last thing that i mentioned that we're going to go back to now is that once you've went to jesus once you've drank yes once you've drank the water um and it has filled you like so now the thirst has been quenched now you are fine that water the bible says um let me read it. Um, but the water that I shall give you, give him, will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. So basically what that means is that after you have been quenched, now that water must flow through you. That water must flow through you. And that is the third point that... The water must flow through you. So, the water flowing through you um, can look like many different things. Um, I'll just state two. Number one, that looks like you sharing the gospel, right? So, not everyone is going to be standing on a pulpit and preaching and, you know, doing all of that. But there are different ways that we can share the gospel. As a Christian, all of us, all of, all of, all of, all of, not only pastors, preachers, but all of us, we are called to share the gospel. Um, it may look different for each person, yes, but at the end of the day, you should be sharing Jesus with people, right? And what that can look like is simply you just um, inviting someone to church. You're giving them an opportunity to come to know Jesus. So inviting people to church, um, sharing your testimony, <laughs> that is so powerful that is so powerful um there's a scripture in the book of revelation that speaks about how we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the power of our testimony there is power in your testimony so you just simply sharing how god has saved you you are sharing the gospel because you're testifying to how good god has been and he's saving power and then the second way that we can have the water flow through us is through serving other people serving those around us so allowing god's love to flow through you loving on those around you bearing the fruits of the spirit being patient with those around you through all of that you're allowing um the water to flow through you last thing before we close we're just going to read verse 39 of chapter 7 which says but this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive what this is referring to the previous scripture says that he who believes in me out of him will flow the living water right and then the verse i just read says that jesus was speaking about the holy spirit so that water that is flowing through you that's referring to the holy spirit I and mean, it further says that when you believe you receive the holy spirit so when you are thirsty you go to god you drink remember we said when you are drinking you are believing when you believe you receive the holy spirit that holy spirit is the water that fills you and you never thirst again that same holy spirit is the holy spirit that flows through you that has the living water flow through you with that being said you sharing the gospel serving those around you um you having the fruits of the spirit be manifested in your life that is all through the holy spirit in other words holy spirit is the main character holy spirit is the one working through you to touch the lives of people around you um yeah with that being said um that is majority of the video um but before i end the video like i said i'll just give an opportunity to anyone who may want to make that decision to believe in jesus right so if you've never um believed in jesus and you want to make that decision right now um like i mentioned it's really simple you don't have to 
go to funny places for 40 days 40 nights and what but no 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 all you need to do is literally just believe in your heart um and confess with your mouth and yeah what that looks like like, like i said is saying a prayer as you're saying that prayer um you are believing in your heart right so you're doing what the scripture says believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth and that way you believe in Jesus. And also for maybe someone who maybe you believed in Jesus, but then something happened along the way and then you stopped believing in Jesus or you turned away from Jesus, then you just want to make that decision um, again. To so um, we're just going to pray how it's going to work um you can just repeat after me you can close your eyes even my eyes won't be closed because i'll be reading the prayer but you can just repeat after me um lord jesus i come to you today i repent of my sins and surrender my life forgive me for all my sins and wash me clean i believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died on the cross and rose again. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, become my Lord my savior and my best friend in jesus name i pray amen all right if you have just made that decision congratulations um this is such a powerful decision to make um each and every person who calls themselves a christian has made this decision so even me one day i made this decision i made this prayer and i can tell you it's been life-changing so i'm excited to see what god is about to do in your life how he's about to I don't know i don't know but i know it's going to be amazing um if you have just made this decision um depending on whether you're comfortable with it or not you can just comment in the section let us know that you've made the decision so we can celebrate you um and then secondly i'll leave my instagram handle on the screen hopefully you have instagram um yes i'd love to speak to you um, i just want to firstly congratulate you and then secondly just have a conversation around like what's next like okay you've made this decision you've made this prayer you believe in jesus now what must happen you know um and any questions that you may have so hopefully you have instagram um so that we can speak around that um but just a general um guidance maybe in case you forget to message me or whatever as to like what happens next what happens next in a nutshell is that you find a home church um and you be planted there and by being planted we mean you stay there you don't go to church a go to church b church set church no 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 you find a church you be planted there um and with regards to church recommendations i can assist with that um, at the moment i can suggest my home church that's if you're in cape town century city um the name of the church is planet shakers um other good churches that i know of um is crc there is crc everywhere everywhere so hopefully there should be one close to you i think those are the only two suggestions i'll make for now um yeah, like I said, if there's any other questions, maybe the ones I've mentioned, they're not that close to you. It's fine. Message me and we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope God spoke to you. I hope God ministered to you. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, what that means is... What I wrote it down. I wrote it down somewhere.